home. And now to your top story tonight, a family dealing with a sudden loss, a mother living every parent's worst nightmare. Those closest to the teenager killed in Sunday morning's fatal hit and run speaking out. Ed Pierce has their story. I never ever thought this would happen though. Never. I you hear about it in movies or you never think it's going to happen to your own kid ever, ever. The rest of us can only imagine what Angela Rodney is living oh, through I, right I, now. I the sudden loss of her 15 year old son killed in a hit and run accident early Sunday morning. By all accounts, Jace Thiel was a fun living kid. Life of the party? He was. He was. He was always the class clown, life of the party. He just, if as long as he could get a smile on your face, that's all he wanted. But like many his age, he was still searching for his place in the world, growing out of his childhood dream to be a firefighter, unsure yet of where he was headed. Struggling in school, he was attending online and had just started a job at a fast food restaurant. He was scheduled to work later that day. And she argued with him about plans to go to a party. And I told him he has work the next day, so he needs to come back early. And time went by, and I didn't hear from him, so I texted him. And I said, you need to come back. You have work early. He said, I know I'm on my way back home. I'll be there soon. A short time later, the car in which he and seven others were crammed was struck from behind at high speed at a stoplight by another car. That driver, 18-year-old Jordan Silva Vallecillo, along with the occupants of a third car, fled the scene, leaving Jace and his friends behind. Some of them suffered serious injuries. Jace died. Short distance and a minute or two from home. Ed Pierce, Call the Wait News Now.